Here's problem 19, 17. A scuba diver has his lungs filled to half capacity, 3 liters, when 10 meters below the surface. If the diver holds his breath while quietly rising to the surface, what will the volume of the lungs be in liters at the surface? Assume the temperature is the same at all depths. Density of water is 1 times 10 to the 3 kilograms per cubic meter. So if we had water and we had a diver, scuba diver, and the depth is 10 meters, and we know we have um, atmospheric pressure bearing down on the top of the water, the pressure at any depth is going to be equal to the pressure at the top plus rho GH, where rho is the density of the fluid, G is 9.8 and H is the depth. We, we have that from physics 1. In this case it would be one atmosphere which is 1.013 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared plus density of water which we're given as a thousand times 9.8 times 10 and this is equal to what? 1.993 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared. So our initial pressure for the diver is 1.99 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared. Our final pressure for the diver is 1.013 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared. And we know in general that P initial, V initial over T initial is going to equal P final, V final over T final. And we want to solve this for V final, the volume at the surface. So V final is going to equal P initial over P final times T final over T initial times V initial. And this will be 1.99 times 10 to the 5 over 1.013 times 10 to the 5. The 10 to the 5's cancel out. T final and T initial we're told that they're going to be the same. So uh, temperature doesn't make a factor here. So that's going to be 1. And then our V initial was uh, 3 liters, so we're going to have an answer in liters. And this is equal to 5.89 liters. So that's our volume at the surface for the lungs, 5.89 liters. Now there's a relatively a shortcut that you possibly could use on this. We know that for every 10 meters of pure water, that corresponds to one atmosphere. And so uh, our initial atmosphere in this, our initial pressure in this case, should be the pressure at the top, one atmosphere, plus one atmosphere for the 10 meters. So that's going to be about two atmospheres. And our final pressure should equal one atmosphere for the atmospheric pressure bearing down. So we could have used a ratio of 2 to 1 for our pressure, and then we would have ended up with 6 liters for our answer, and that would have been pretty good within um, reasonable error. So I just did it exactly in this case, but uh, in general your pressure is linear with water, so you know every 10 meters is an atmosphere, every 5 meters would be a half an atmosphere for each one. It's a linear relationship, and uh, that's a good one to use for water.